So in this segment, we're going to be discussing Rich, uh, Robert Jenrick, Tory candidate, being called out over his dealings to save um, a essentially a building developer a lot of money. And um, we're talking in the millions that could have gone to this council, but no, Jenrick stopped that. Number one. Now, our viewers and you will mm. no doubt recognise mm. Richard Desmond. He was a wealthy businessman and Tory donor. Now, when you were Housing Secretary in government, you um, have accepted that you approved a billion pound development of his unlawfully. Matthew, our viewer, wants to know why did you rush through his reversal of the planning decision regarding Richard Desmond's project to save him tens of millions of pounds? So you accepted you made a mistake doing it, but why did you do it? Mm. Well, immediately after the 2019 general election, where we had been elected on a manifesto commitment, which was absolutely the right one, to increase the number of new homes being so built in the... The Tories have had multiple manifesto commitments to build new homes and has, you know, they have consistently missed them. So I don't see what a difference 2019 would make when you had nine years of failure already. This country, we decided to approve the big schemes that came before us and we approved the five largest planning applications that we had. This was one of them, a big scheme on brownfield land and inner East London, exactly the sort of place that you should be building homes. The developer in question... He asked me about it. I told him not to talk about it. I regret, obviously, that uh, it, I was subject to you know, the mischaracterization as to what our motivation was, which was simply to get homes built. And I would just point out that a couple of weeks ago... Uh, if you wanted to get homes built, I mean, the government could have done it. The government could have built these homes if they really wanted to. Earlier in the summer, the Labour-controlled Tower Hamlets Council have approved exactly the same scheme as the one that I approved back in the day. But you admitted that you made the decision in the wrong way, and there were, and you've referred to it there, suspicions that you made that decision because you sat next to him at a dinner and he was giving money to the party. I suppose the question that Matthew's asking is... You if know, on, on the face of it, it's a massive conflict of interest when you've got a guy, you were talking to him at a dinner, which you, you know really shouldn't happen. Politicians should not be going din to dinners and stuff like that with these kind of influential people. Um, you know, they should be having formal meetings with them if that's what they want to actually discuss business. But when we look at the kind of the facts of it, you know, the development called West Ferry Printworks on the Isle of Dogs caused political turmoil in the government in 2020. It emerged Jenrick, the then housing secretary and now immigration minister, intervened um, to approve an early version of the scheme after Desmond lobbied Jenrick um, to speed through its approval. The pair also sat next to each other at the fundraising dinner and Desmond donated 12k. That's all it took, 12 grand to save millions. It's one hell of, it's one hell of an investment and in it. 12k to save millions of pounds. Jesus. Documents from inside the department later suggested Jenrick had taken an interest in the development and its timing with officials stating that he was insistent that the scheme be approved before a local change worth about £40 million was imposed. So he's arguing that, you know, the Tower Hamlets Council has approved a similar scheme, but chances are that they're going to be paying this, you know, £40 million extra in tax or however much it is now. Desmond had urged him in a private message um, saying, quote, we don't want to give the Marxist loads of dough um, sick for not, uh, I don't know what that, that word is, for nothing, um, end quote. So basically he's saying like, look, we don't want to give the ca Council of Tower Hamlets money um, for this project, therefore you need to rush it through. So you can see here a huge conflict of interest. Je uh, Jenrick had overruled the government's own planning inspector to approve the development. They accepted his decision was unlawful but denied any bias. But it's clear, you know, you've got a guy who donated 12k to the party during that period, who had dinner with Robert Jenrick. The conflict of interest is clear. It's more is is clear, you know. And if we saw this now under Labour, they'll say, "Oh, it was a gift," you know, no conflict of interest. But that's the point, though. This stuff here is what creates a conflict of interest. He's donated money to the party. He obviously wants something. You can argue there's a quid pro quo here, or, or you can argue that you know, Jenrick just like he argued, he tried to speed along this development. But you know, if you make that argument, you're a complete moron. How can people trust you to make future decisions properly when you made that one in the wrong way? Well, there was no impropriety. The issue was that... I mean, the issue is that you went to dinner with the geezer, right? You went to dinner with him. He donated 12k. He donated 12k to the Tory party. And then you tried to save him 40 million pounds because you didn't want to give that Labour Council money. Uh, I allowed a mischaracterization to grow up by the fact that he sat next to me at this dinner. I told him not to talk about it. So you're, are you saying you're the one who brought it up? Like this, I mean, you shouldn't be going to dinners with these people unless it's enough formal, you know, dinners. You should be having formal meetings with these people so everything's noted down. Uh, it's just, it baffles me that these kind of guys, people get away with this stuff. But, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm not that surprised. This is how, you know, these kind of, Tor the Tory party works. 
you know 12k and you say 40 million pounds is wild but anyways i'm gonna leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe support the channel on patreon if you can and hopefully i'll see you in the next one